So we find ourselves here today, ladies and gentlemen, on Morning Coffee, the show that's totally unscripted, and we have a special guest in the house this morning, ladies and gentlemen, saxophonist, Jaquim Joyner, everybody. Where's, Say hello to the brother. Where's the clap? Oh, where's my What, what you gonna forget the clap oh, song? the clap button, man. What's up the clap? <laughs> there we go. Now I feel very welcome. <laughs> you know... And it's so, they get so acclimated so quickly. I know, man. Well, how about this, brother? Because this is what they said. <laughs> <laughs> man, you cats are funny, man. What is up, man? This is this is the place to be, right? Wow. Well, that's because you're here. Yeah. Okay, 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 <laughs> man. Yeah, that's yeah, it. man. Dang. Oh. <laughs> a new experience. Man, yes. New, I know, man. We surprised you. We do that, man. Yeah, man. Everybody, nice intro. You can take a look at the gentleman. Take a look at our, our guest today. Jakeem Joyner, we're going to spend this whole first part of our show just getting to know this brother better. Welcome. Welcome, man. Man, yeah, man. It's been a, it's been a busy year for me this year, man. Yes, brother. You yeah. are the man. And, you know, he's got so many accomplishments. What we're going to do, let me tell you how we're going to work this thing this morning. Typically, those of you who are regulars know that this show is the unscripted morning show. We get together, we talk about morning coffee, music, news, and more. Now, today with our special guest, we're going to have a time where we call sipping and schmoozing. And we're going to get into him, and that's coming up in just a second. But what we usually do is we got to give you our announcements and all that kind of stuff. Now, for those of you who've been watching, we start off with a pre-broadcast. Those of you who got a chance to enjoy the pre-broadcast, that featured the work of Victor Allen on the LZ. And the artists that were featured were Layla Hathaway. Oh, yeah, yeah. man. That's right. And Nothing but love. Oh, yes, and with her guest on stage, Rachelle Farrell. Oh, yeah. Okay, give me a break. Vesta Williams. <laughs> yeah. Tony Scruggs, you know. Uh, oh, man. Background. Her. She, uh, you know what? I'm still waiting for her to take lead. Well, everybody, that's what I'm saying. You guys, check out the, the morning show, the pre-broadcast, uh, and with all those featured artists, including also John B., Goopoli, right? Yes. Sheila E. Yep. Okay, and then also in the, uh, we have the after, uh, after show broadcast. That's, we call it the lunchtime after party. And that, again, features the artists that Victor's been capturing out there on the LZ. Now, how we yep. do this part... We do the we do the news and we break it down into the good news, the other the good news, the bad news, the other shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the other, what, what's the other stuff? <laughs> see, 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 there you go. See. He don't want to know good news. He want to know what the other shit is. Because <laughs> he never, I never know. It's always a, a not a category that's like who knows what this news is. Yes. So that's what the uh, so that's what that is. And then we do the new news sports and we do the hot picks where you know we get to rate. The up and coming models. Oh, oh man. man, that's the part that you go. That's the part you missed because it's after eleven. Ah. <laughs> that's the part you. That's right. right. It's man, hot. might have to stick back with that. Uh, it's a hot <laughs> one, man. It's a hot one. <laughs> so everybody, welcome. Remember, it's four weeks until Christmas. Okay, the trending topics of the day are WikiLeaks, Cyber Monday, McRib, and North Korea. For those of you who Cyber. do take a watch, you can go take a look at our at our tweet monitor. You can see the real time Twitter feeds. And you can see people talking about that. Our slogan for the week, everyone, is a one that is by Joan Rivers. And it is, the one thing women don't want to find in their stockings on Christmas morning is their husband. Oh, that's cold. Oh, man. <laughs> that's cold. Not my wife. Not my wife. <laughs> You know, I'm today. coming in the stock. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's right. He's a married man, man. That's it. Hey, so you got to be nice, that's, man. That, we, I mean, yeah, man. This is a pretty. We know he's not that bad. You know, every every time I think that I'm getting bad, I go watch like the Comedy Channel and stuff. I watch South Park, and oh, I yeah, go like, I love that. yeah, and I go like, they are so far past what we do. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. They're, they're crazy. They're, they're just off. Yeah. They're, they're just ridiculous. Yeah, man. I watch that stuff. It's very <laughs> offensive. <laughs> See. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, if he stays around here long enough, he'll find out some things. Right okay. now, you're gonna be nice. He he, he hasn't been touched yet. Well, okay. we're gonna get it. Let me just right. tell you, everybody. Let me give everybody a glimpse. Oh, that sounds Take good. Take a glimpse, you guys. Take a look, glimpse at what we have coming up in just a second. Okay, take a look. Here he is. Oh yeah, keep joining. There he is, posing with his instrument. <laughs> <laughs> You know Wonder, wonderful, wonderful <laughs> photography. 
so, state of the art. It's a, see, he's state like, of the art. Good looking brother. I tried to tell you, man. Good looking brother. You know, oh, you know man. this is an old throwback to the old school. That's, yeah, man. <laughs> that's how you got to do it, man. <laughs> <laughs> it uh, is. Posing okay. with the sax. There, there you is, go. That's right, because this is a sexy instrument. Oh, yeah. The women then, love it. We're, gonna, we're also going to be showing his EPK. Oh, yeah. Wonderful piece. Oh, yeah. Okay, and then we're going to talk about his upcoming, uh, well, first of all, he's got his third CD release. Right. He's got the other mm-hmm. two. We're we'll talking about the history of how those came about. And also, we're going to talk about uh, how this year has been such a special year mm-hmm. on a personal level for him uh, and how that has been uh, influenced and represented in his music. Oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So, so you Absolutely. know what? It's hard when you're around a creative person sometimes. They're like, I don't know about your woman. Because sometimes mm-hmm. you start writing and they like, you know, they're like, well, who's that about? <laughs> I was, I was about to write a I was about to write a nice song and then I'm like you know what I'm gonna change this song <laughs> at the last minute this is not gonna be a nice song <laughs> that's a girl that's cool uh, is she is she watching the show right now I, I hope, hope not okay there you go <laughs> well See, we're gonna give her nah. love we're gonna give her love we're gonna yeah. give her love and then we're gonna play a piece uh, this chameleon solo with Brian Culbertson you guys oh yeah mm-hmm. all right so we're gonna do that but first of before we do that. You it's know that, how we do it. It's that time. Vic, I think it's that time. It's that time where somebody likes to talk about what they do. In other words, since we don't have any PR, he wants to PR himself, and he called it foreplay. <laughs> and this, it, our shows always have this thing where we have to get help, and here he needs help. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You know how we do it, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. We call it just a very few moments to seduce your mind. It is foreplay. Pack Stereo coming to you live in the studio. Oh, a morning coffee. Hi. First of all, this is the time where we give you the who, what, where, when, and why. Because we figure we're going to be spending this time together. We should get to know something about each other so you can understand the meaning of the experience of which you are partaking. So first of all, the who. I am Mario Hemsley, and my partner in crime here today is Victor Allen, and we make up the complete broadcasting team. What do I mean? I mean there are no cameramen. There are no sound or audio technicians. There is no cleanup crew. We do, however, have bottled water and some wonderful coffee, which yeah. Victor made this morning, right? Brother, got what that is it today, Vic? French, French roast and Sumatra, man. And the tea. Uh, and the tea. Uh, don't forget about the oh, tea. Oh man, that's right, the man. Cinnamon. It's the fr- <laughs> wait a minute. He's gonna ruin my man. He's gonna ruin my man. <laughs> this is the joint, man. <laughs> That's he's, a, he's healthy. That's, that's the lady, they drink healthy, man. Oh, come on, hop. You know that's what? Good, you got the tea. That's right, because that's the way we do. We make, we have coffee, we have tea. Together, we make up the team. We are in control of this virtual experience that we call mood control. Once again, with a program, with a slogan. <laughs> <Go. laughs> See, on you, my brother, on you. Yes, the brain is the second thing to go. (laughs) Not the first. Not the first. Like I said, the slogan here at Pack Stereo is program, deprogram, and reprogram. That's right. My brother over there is running two video switchers, six cams, one desktop. We have seven PC systems live right now. All live programming, on air, interactive chat. Ladies and gentlemen, we are multitasking on steroids. Oof. <laughs> we are self trained and self educated. We have never ever worked within the industry. We are outsiders. But let me tell you about the what. We are 90 minutes of unscripted fun, available immediately on demand in our on demand section. Look to the right, look to the left, look beneath the player. You will see a video archive. And this show will be available immediately on demand. But not just that, ladies and gentlemen. I myself will cut it into 15 minute bite sized pieces, which will be syndicated throughout cyberspace, places like YouTube, Meta Cafe, Daily Motion, Yahoo Video. We do it all. You can watch it on your phone. We are Neo Urban Internet Television, aka TV with the big T, little v, Internet Television, radically transparent and part of the long tail. Where? Los Angeles, California, Mood Control Broadcasting Headquarters, Paxdale TV, here in virtual reality, which we call a cybernetic sensuality. Something that your mind can feel, but ladies and gentlemen, is it real? <laughs> or is it inside your mind, deep in a cybernetic space and time? Seek, create, and then you'll find it's a fantasy. It's a fantasy. The when, 10 a.m. Monday through Wednesdays. But I tell you, we have unscheduled broadcasts all the time. Check out our TV guide, www.packstereo.tv slash t 
TV guide. We wanted to make it easy. The whys, because people come to me all the time, they say, Mario, why? Why, brother, why? Why do you do the things you do? And I say, because we are the new new. Because ultimately, we know that you are in control, and together, we are going to take back the airwaves. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a revolution that will be televised, as internet television is the way you and I will be doing it. We are the new new. We love doing the impossible, and ladies and gentlemen, we are living the dream. Let's bow our heads. Thank you. Cut. Thank you. Cut the claps. Man, you late on those mixes, man. You man. Know, you late on the mixes, man. I'm, I'm trying to convert us. Hey. Come on, man. The man. claps. Hey. We actually embrace manufactured claps. Those we not the, like the studio. Those are the two fifty claps. That's right. I tell you, those are the, <laughs> they come with the actually with the two fifty. You got the whole program and the claps. Oh, you like that, huh? So yeah, you got That's everything. Yeah. yeah. Think Sound about effects. Think of somebody just who came in the show and heard. Well, you got the claps. Well, I would tell him, you know, at least that's treatable. If that's all you have today. <laughs> okay. That was some severe poetry there. Man. <laughs> wow. I told you. crazy. So- you didn't know what to so expect. Cool, you man. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Got a surprise for you, man. You you know, like I said, but we're, we're being tamed today for you. Okay. Yeah, we're being tamed. Yeah, because, you know, this is a brother, everybody, who can appreciate Doing the little things like we do here at Pack Steel, coming up the way we do everything, you know. That piece that we just played, that was a beat that I programmed. Mm. And my and my efforts to get into sample manipulation, which I rejected for so many years. Right. Because I love live musicians <laughs> now. I did. I, I love it because I do. And for years, I refused to use sam- samples. And then one day, one of my buddies was playing around with uh, Acid, a program that allows you to manipulate. And I st- next thing you know, I was doing the rhythm tracks for... Pack stereo and a lot of so that was a track that I'm programming. I call it. It has a whole music uh, vocal thing called "Do That." Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So I hope got you hooked guys in. Enjoy that. I'm hooked too with samples because <laughs> you do everything. See, yeah, man. I mean, you know, I got so many samples now. My last record was uh-huh. was, was a lot of the drum uh, programming and bass program was using samples. Too, See, there so. you go because and they never See? get tired. They get, no. yeah, man. I mean, and, and hey, you know, they they're starting to sound really, really, really good. I mean, uh, nowadays, I think five years from now, samples are going to be out the roof. Oh yeah. You know. Well, it's one of those things you get used to as a tool because it's a choice thing. You could have it or not have it, but mm-hmm. it's funny. Even when I uh, would do the tracks, I always would bring in someone to do what I would call my virtuoso performance, usually my saxophone player, which in the past, that, on our, it was Paul Russo. Oh, yeah. Who played, yeah. A, lot of our, That's played right. a lot of our stuff. Yeah. But uh, this sax, let me tell you about this brother. So let me introduce him. Soul and R&B saxophonist. Jakeem Joyner. Okay, everybody. And he's got three CDs out. Most recently, his third release, uh, that's on Mac Avenue Records, but it's number five. It was number five on Billboard Smooth Jazz Charts, but he's charted before. And the other thing is that he's local. He's performing here mm-hmm. at Spagatini uh, down in Seal Beach, December fourth this weekend. But we got. I want. Let's find out more about his history. The brother has three CDs. We know that, and we. And, and let me tell you, as part of this, we're going to get a chance to uh, to play his EPK. But uh, tell us a little bit about your background. Where did you where where did you come up and? Well, um, you know, I uh, grew up in New York, upstate New York, in Syracuse. I'm I'm originally from Virginia, um, born in Norfolk, Virginia. Um, after graduating high school in Syracuse, I moved to Virginia, got married. Me and my wife Lola. You got, mar- got wow, married? Wow, that long ago. <sighs> Wow. Well, you know, we're coming up on our seven-year anniversary. Well, congratulations, yeah. everybody, everybody. Yeah, yeah, where's the claps? Where's yeah. the claps? <laughs> he's oh, he's hip to, he's hip to the game. <laughs> Great. She, she liked it, too. Yeah, she's watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, so, uh, you know, moved out here to California uh, shortly after I got married. Um, produced my first CD, Baby Soul, um, along with, um, I was actually on the Rick Braun and Richard Elliott's label at the time.